Hello everyone, welcome to Travel and Style from Chambéry in France. First, we would like to wish a warm welcome to all our new subscribers who have recently joined the Travel and Style family. And uh, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that way you'll get notified of our next destination. In this channel, we film cities, hotels, wellness and spa and much more to come in the future. So stay tuned and keep discovering. So Chambéry is an alpine town in southeast France and the capital of the Savoy region. And they say that it's the most Italian of French cities. Look at that, how cute it is, full of little cafes and restaurants all over. So if you haven't been to uh, Chambéry yet, next time you come here, you will have uh, a lot to do and a lot to see. So Chambéry is uh, really cute and uh, here we have the old town which we're going to take you through. So stick around and discover this cute uh, city of Chambéry. It's full of uh, little alleyways linking the streets together, like this one. So Chambéry is uh, one hour away from uh, Geneva, so for those who live in Geneva, you're very lucky to have so many interesting places around. And this, uh, this city really has so much history. Lots of shops, lots of uh, little cafes and terraces. Take a look at this. How beautiful is this? In the 13th century, Amadeus the fifth count of uh, Savoy made uh, Chambéry the seat of power 
And you should know that uh, during six centuries, Chambéry and uh, Savoy and the Italian cities of Torino and Piemonte uh, were united under the authority of the House of Savoy. And this is why they say that uh, Chambéry is uh, the most Italian of French towns. So definitely if you're ever uh, in France and have time to visit Saint-Berry, uh, do not miss it because it's really cozy. You have uh, lots of passages and alleyways, just like in Lyon as well. It's really a charming uh, town. And the old town is really uh, attractive and uh, lively, lots of uh, people around. And there are many, many landmarks to visit as well. Have you ever been to Chambéry? If you have, we would love to know about it. We would love to know what you thought of it, where you stayed. So please let us know in the comments section below. So, as I've mentioned before, uh, Chambéry is uh, the capital of the Savoy region and in the old town, which is uh, right here, you can find the medieval castle of the Dukes of Savoy, which we will try to show you. Here you can see the cafe is called Castle's Cafe and this is uh, the castle. So apparently there's uh, some kind of uh, marathon going on. Look at all the little alleyways right here and this is the place of the castle with the cute little cafe right here and the castle which I will uh, try to show you from the other side You have a very nice hotel that dates back from the 18th century called Hotel de Montfalcon. So there are lots of uh, lots of nice uh, historical buildings here in uh, the old town of um, Chambéry. So as I've mentioned, there seems to be a some kind of race or marathon here in Chambéry. So beautiful, so, so nice, really nice. The 
architecture is really really nice Hello <laughs> and uh, this is uh, the castle There it is. So stick around, we will continue. So here you have the street of the castle. It's called the Castle Street. And we'll show you the castle in a little bit. So all the people dressed in uh, pink here have been uh, part of a race. Um, not sure what the cause is, but uh, nonetheless, I think the whole population has uh, participated in this race. And here you have a lovely uh, statue from Joseph de Mestre to Xavier de Mestre. So we will be filming Chambéry in two parts, so this is part one and uh, next week you will be able to see part two. So stay with us and uh, keep discovering. As I've said before, uh, for six centuries Chambéry and Savoy um, and the Italian uh, city of Torino and Piemonte were united under the authority of the House of Savoy. So this city really has uh, some uh, Italian uh, touch to it, as we will also see uh, in part two. We will now be giving a shout out to Madi Villa, my fairy path, who has left us a very nice comment on the videos of Anmas and Basil. So thank you very much, Madi Villa, my fairy path, for your lovely comment. like a shout out make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave us a lovely comment on this video or any other video that you like and we'll be happy to give you a shout out Make sure to share it with your friends, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe by hitting the travel and style icon on the left of the screen or the little red button on the bottom right of the screen and that way you get notified of our next destination. So stay tuned, travel and style is signing off, bye bye.